How? Hmm. What do you mean, how? You know what I mean! How the hell are you... Me! We... How can we be the same damn person? Well, it's not like we're the same person. We're similar, sure, but, uh, you know, red's not really my color. Though I have to admit, I'm really digging the fur. You don't happen to have one that comes in pink, do you? <laughs> Fine. Let's say I do believe you, which I don't. Yet. Then where the hell did you come from? Uh, don't exactly know how I got here. One minute I was enjoying a knife game of tag, but uh, the next thing I knew, I'm waking up in a conveniently shaped snow hole with a very different version of my brother threatening to give me a good thrashing for napping on one of his traps. <laughs> They're actually pretty similar now that I think about it. Swords, you lazy bones! <laughs> <laughs> you idiotic monster! W wait! You got a brother as well? <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't I? If there's two versions of us, why not two of him? As far as I can tell, there's two versions of everything. Though I shed you not, our prison is much nicer. So, what you're saying is... Alternate universes are a thing, and somehow another version of me managed to get their ass stuck in mine? Oh, so you've heard of that theory. Yeah, I've heard of it. And I'm pretty sure I know why we've both been thinking about it. So why don't you quit flaying around and cut to the chase? Sans the skeleton number two. How the hell did you get the machine to work? And what the f*** did you do to finally get out of your resets? Load 451. Classification. Soulless Genocide. Again. And again. And again, sometimes, it feels like they're feeding me a drop of their determination with each strike. But, even with that little bit of resolve, it's getting hard to keep up. I'm... it a bit close for a chat, don't you think, Bonehead? Eh. <laughs> I'm still wounded, but it doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, come on. Stand up already. Don't worry about your, um, cut. Time is wackier, so it'll literally take forever for you to die. Sounds good to me. Hey. Thanks for, uh, answering my call. Ha <laughs> uh, no prob, Bone Boy. I was bored anyway. So, since we're here again, would I be right to say you're reconsidering my offer? Actually, uh, I'm still not so sure about... Oh, come on. Seriously, what's holding you back, Sans? Jeez, kid. Ugh, all right, pause. Let's analyze the scene. Pretty much lately. You've been dealing with this homicidal kid for about 400 loads this run. They killed you over 10 times already, but keep resetting the load to keep fighting you. To my knowledge, they've completed this kind of run right before this one, so they literally already sold their soul. Just to kill all of you again. Man. This is the most bogus genocide run I've ever witnessed. Whoever's behind the wall doing this has some serious free time. Behind the wall? She said that during our last chat.
What does that mean? I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. You've drawn the shortest, shittiest stick when it comes to timelines. So why not get a little boost to stop it? Uh, Sans. Sorry, I, uh, spaced out there for a sec. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Seriously, though, you said it yourself. I'm basically the Sans with the worst time, right? And you said before that I'm just a... a copy of the original Sans. So I can't help but wonder... What? You pop into some backstreet universe and my unlucky streak stops? Why? Why me? Why jump in at all? What's the benefit for you here? Ugh, so many questions. Can't you, you know, take an idea and just run with it? You may not know this, but I don't usually do this whole goody two shoes stick. What am I saying? Of course you don't. You're just a plain old Sans. Eh, uh, ouch, I guess. Look, man, here's how it's going. You're a Sans. I happen to know quite a bit about the Sanses out there. The thing with you guys is I know you hate change. I know that's why you're hesitating on what I can give you. And I get it, I guess. You live in an alpha timeline, in a near replica of the first. You yourself are a pretty standard science. You tell puns, you drink ketchup, you have knowledge of the multiverse. Standard. But that will change as soon as you do. It'll be completely new. That's what you're figuring anyway, right? And you hate the idea of new. You're scared of it. But I know you hate repetition more, and... And... Uh, you know what? I'll stop with the whole side mouth thing and be blunt about it. Never was good with buttering people up with words. The truth is, it's not really out of any desire for good or evil. But just because, I know I can. And because I can... <laughs> the hell? I will. Oh. <laughs> oh man, your face! That was perfect! <laughs> that was so worth it. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I guess your humor doesn't exactly tickle my funny bone. This is a bad idea. Is it? Is it really? I... I think so. Well, I think you're just scared. I'm not scared. Nah, you're right. You're something else. You're getting cryptic with me now, huh? Not at all. The thing is, Sans, you can't afford to repeat the cycle again. Eventually, you're going to break. I know. I've seen it happen before. You're so close and you don't even know it. You're not going to like what I'm going to say next. Oh uh, yeah? Try me. Right now, you and this anomaly have so much in common. What? And you need to take advantage. Um, well, if you put it like that, uh, then I guess that means we've got to go with a real out-of-the-box solution, huh? <laughs> <gasps> exactly, phone boy! I got it. Well, my newly acquired partner, we're about to do some whack things together. Uh. And luckily, I've caught you with something that's gonna spice up this fix. You're determined. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to shred what you are now into simultaneous non-existence. Get rid of all that icky mortality that's been clinging to you. You'll die during the process, of course. But that's nothing new to you, so no problem. And when I'm done, you'll be recreated in my image. Are you ready? Yeah. But, I've got one more question. 
Did uh, you have to die? <laughs> nah. I was always perfection. <laughs> Give them hell. 